Okay, so I know it's a bit dark today. Um, we're having some actual fall-like weather. I think we're in the 50s today. I'm very surprised. Um, <clears throat> today is November 1st, and I decided that I would get back into doing my Japanese study. So this is my Japanese study bullet journal, which I showed you. No, I showed you this mid-September, right? Right. All right. So I'm gonna give you a slightly better all on its own walkthrough of what I'm doing in here. God, I halfway feel like this is, I'm going to need to like stop and put down washi tape markers to know what my framing is because this is completely different from how I've been filming all of my videos recently and is completely different from how I had been at the last apartment. Note, we painted about half of the living room, but it's not the half that my office corner was going to go in, so I can't actually unpack my office yet. So all of my office is in boxes on my desk. Yeah, anyway. So yeah, you know, I don't really know why they tell you to put monetary rewards, but I always write down 25, even with in, even in journals I don't take out of the house. And then that incredibly frustrating page that's always glued for binding stability and all of that. Um, this is a Japanese proverb. I don't actually remember how to say it in Japanese. And there are some relatively complex kanji in there. So I don't even know how to write it in Japanese. I know what it looks like, so there's that. And then um, just some quick dot grid numbering there, index, blank page, probably going to be used for index, and then we just go straight into lesson one, um, which was actually copied out of my traveler's notebook that I was originally using for this purpose. As you can tell here, these are just notes I haven't finished copying over yet. Um, yeah. yeah, and then we get to lesson two. Like I didn't write, I didn't recopy any of the practice and I'm kind of kicking myself for not recopying the practice, but it's whatever. And then we have lesson two, we have vocabulary, uh, different notes about it, notes, expression notes, and then we get into the practice, and I have all of the practice here. Um, you may not be able to read that because I can barely read it. It says C voice recording for Wednesday, August 14th, 2019. Um, and basically in Genki, there are a lot of um, like you're supposed it's it's a classroom textbook. So you're supposed to be working with your like friends in class to do all of these like conversation exercises but because it's just me and I have yet to be able to afford a tutor I just voice record it and then I go back later when I know that I'll be able to judge myself so this is how August got set up um, so because I started halfway through August I started halfway through August on my monthly page, and then we just, I was trying to get myself to do a, a 10 kanji every day. Um, I stopped writing them down, and I started just doing them on flashcards, so this became really dumb. Like, I did it for every, I set it up for every single day. Um, and then, lesson three, the third chapter, blah, 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 and then... Practice it starts here, and we have my bookmark. So we have my bookmark for the vocabulary and my bookmark for where I was working, rest of the questions for lesson three. And then this is September. Now, I barely did anything in September. Whenever, whenever I made that, hey look I'm back planner stack episode, I had probably done that I had probably studied every single day in September up to that day. 
Honestly, I don't remember because it wasn't something that I was having to put on a habit tracker because I was just doing it. Like, I, this was part of my morning routine before we moved and before everything got super screwy. And then there were some days where I would just like, I would be obsessed with studying. I would do, I would do like an entire chapter's worth of notes and practice out of Genki. And then I would go and I would do in a separate notebook, this one here, um, just a pamphlet stitch with some Rhodia dot pad. It's not actually, I don't think it was this one that I was working in. Yeah, no, it wasn't this one, because this one's like my timing and my goals and like journaling that applies specifically to my Japanese learning. Um, so yeah, and as you can see, I never wrote down any notes or goals. See, I don't remember what the two of them were. Or, yeah, notes and goals. Notes, goals? Let's look at August, because I feel like I'll be, I remember the way I put it, or I actually wrote stuff down in August, so I'll be able to know what the hell I, what those were. For August? Yeah. Goals, notes. I was right! Look at that! I'm not... Completely dumbass. So yeah, that was September. September I set up really well, I thought. I thought I was gonna do super good. I was like, I was sitting here. Oh, you know, maybe I didn't do anything in September either because I never got to lesson four or I was really, really pied and like cramming everything on the first. Anyway, I'm still going to try, my goal is still to try and do a chapter every week. But for the first 10 days of November, I'm giving myself some grace because I do have the expert expo that I'm doing with my Etsy store, um, the 9th and 10th. So I'm focusing really heavily on getting product made. So we're gonna set this up for November for my Japanese study. Um, I do want to study Korean and there's a couple of other languages I want to study as well. But, I feel like I need to have one notebook for each one, rather than one big journal for all of them, because I feel like I will wind up spending more time on color coding and like making sure everything looks perfect, rather than actually studying. And that's why I don't act normally use washi tape in this journal either. Um, because I know for a fact that it becomes kind of a distraction for me. Like making the pages look pretty and cute and stuff becomes a pretty serious distraction and becomes something that, oh, I can't study unless I have time to make the study page look pretty before I start in on the studying. And no. It's not really like that. I can just go in and I can just start studying. Um, I think actually, rather than grabbing this little guy, I do want to grab yeah. ruler, stapler, or no, this is Stabilo. I wonder where my stapler went. Anyway, um, so I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna draw up, um, I am going to draw up a full calendar, but I'm going to do it a lot smaller. Because as you can tell here, I'm gonna do it basically to where like I just color in every day that I do study with either pink or purple. Like if you you probably noticed, like this entire journal's color palette is pink, purple, and gray mild liner, and then whatever black pen I feel like using. I think I think I might enjoy the way my handwriting looks, both in English and Japanese, in a hella fine point rather than a brush pen. I used to only write in Japanese in brush pen because I thought that that made my Japanese handwriting look better. Now I've kind of compromised and I will use my brush pen for the vocabulary sections of a lesson, but I won't use the brush pen for my practice so that like I have the best of both, essentially. Um, yeah. 
And the best of both is in reference to thinking my handwriting looks nicer in Japanese with the brush pen and then the easiness of just using a regular pen. If you want to see more of this journal or you want to do like, I don't know, 30 minute study videos, I'm down. I had actually initially wanted to set up a study channel, like for accountability purposes, but then I realized that I, cu I couldn't do lives from my phone until I reached, I think it's a thousand. Maybe it's more than that, I don't really know. Um, a thousand, like, subscribers. And I'm like, that's, that's kind of dumb, but I understand why we're, like, trying to keep the live aspect from getting spammy, and I can appreciate it. So I guess I'm not that mad. But it still is kind of frustrating to be all like, really? Um, and I don't have a lot of equi uh, uh, any equipment, really, for uh, filming at all, so I don't have a webcam or anything like that, or any, like, true camera. Um, And as I said, I'm not going to make myself study the first 10 days of the month, but I'm also not going to stop myself from studying the first 10 days of the month. Alright, so there's that. to do about this line that I put here on accident. Should I just put washi? I'm just gonna put washi. That's how we fix things around these parts is just to put in washi. And then we'll totally look intentional, right? So 
So I had intended to put a line on the left hand side of Monday because I wanted to like block off this bar here to write in November. But I had done it on Tuesday instead because I wasn't paying any attention. I think what I'm going to do is that I am going to switch it up a little bit. Since this guy is now going to be my tracker, um, I am going to copy over the schedule I wanted, notes, practice, and then review on the weekends. But I'm actually going to take out reviewing on the weekends and just bring practice to, uh, notes to three days and practice to four days. Um, because I've changed Oh, see, I actually, on the monthlies, I had pulled out the darker pink, too. So where is my darker pink? Because that will match the washi tape, and then I won't feel bad. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So now I have my hot pink stapler in hand as well. So I'm going to write down the schedule in the hot pink on top of this first week here, and then I just know that that's now the weekly schedule. Yep. And then... I didn't even grab all my pens out to start with. I am doing really, really bad at this, but I wanted to do this in hot pink anyway. So don't take the way I'm writing these kanji as law. I think I'm writing them in the wrong stroke. There's goals. I don't really need notes. But over here on this side, I'm gonna make a wins and losses page. Like things that went well and things that didn't go well. Things to do again for next month. Things not to do for next month. And all of that jazz.
And then that is that. I don't really know what this little square is going to wind up be. I will probably wind up making it some sort of inspirational quote that I find in Japanese. Just because I find that finding fun quotes in Japanese really does help me quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so that's that. November in my Japanese study journal.